Have you ever noticed too often you, you set a goal and then you forget about it later on? It's not that you didn't want the goal, it's just that other things came into your life and you got busy and maybe what you had sort of on the front burner of your life uh, as a goal, you ended up putting on the back burner because other chaos hits you. Well then, how do you set up your life in a way that you stop doing that? Because be honest, is there anything in the last, let's say six months that you had as a goal and then you literally just forgot about. You're like, oh, I forgot I was trying to lose that weight. Yes, please bring the chow mein, right? You just forgot and you didn't mean to forget. See, most people think it's, well, maybe I didn't really want it or maybe it's a prioritization thing. I'm like, no, it's just that sometimes when we lose touch with what we want because we're not putting it in front of us often enough, we move on to the next thing that's, you know, a, a fire drill or a challenge or trouble and the good things that we wanted, the great goals that we set up, fall by the wayside. So how can you prevent that? Well, let's, let's share three ideas on this. First and foremost, let me give a little context and, and hope that these things are true in your life. First, you have some goals, okay? Let's just assume that you have some goals and you've mapped those goals. Okay, so the, you, you got the goals, you've mapped them, you know what you want. I'm just gonna assume that's true, okay? And now I can share the three advanced ideas. Number one, bring back your visualization practice. You know, when you first had that goal or that dream, that big desire, like, I bet you sat in bed and you thought about it and you dreamed about it and you could practically taste it. You wanted it so bad. You know, you could see it in your dreams during the day. If you talked to other people about it, it felt real. It was a goal you were going to go after. And it just, it showed up in your dreams. It showed up when you closed your eyes. It showed up when you talked to other people. That's a real fire goal. That's a good one, right? And yet what happens when people often set a goal, they open up their calendar, they schedule it, or they open up a work plan and they say, okay, to achieve goal, I must you know, measure it this way and I must set this date and I must do all these things. And they tactically fill out their calendar or fill up their day planner and it sounds like it's gonna happen, right? But it doesn't. It's because, look, you could have lots of to-dos all over your calendar, but never feel like really going for the goal. And that's because you're not emotionally charging yourself up for that goal on a continual basis. That's why it falls aside so quickly. Because you got really excited about it, but then, oh, this other thing I'm excited about, and this other thing I'm excited about. And now you're just running around like you've got like super massive ADD, which I totally understand. So here's what you have to do is what you have to do. You have to set up a visualization practice that is daily. Here's the simplest technique for you if you're not already doing it. When you wake up in the morning, each morning, before you even get out of bed, just wake up and as soon as you wake, take a nice couple deep breaths, close your eyes and visualize yourself striving for your goals, struggling for your goals, then attaining your goals, okay? So what I mean, literally, imagine, like for me, I'm, a, I'm an author as you know, right? I write books. So I sit, I'll sit there and I'll think, okay, I can see myself writing at the desk today. Okay, now, oh, I see myself not writing at the desk today. The struggle, I've gone off and I'm wandering around the park convincing myself that this is what I must do to find some creativity. Stop that, no. The most important part about visualization is not to see yourself cross the finish line. It's to see what do you do when the struggle happens to maintain. Right? So if you want to run a marathon, as an example, lots of people say, well, visualize yourself running across the marathon line. Visualize that, visualize that, visualize that. I'm like, actually, no. Visualize yourself getting up for months and months and months, going for those morning runs, practicing. Visualize yourself when you are running the marathon, right in the middle of the marathon, when you're at, let's say, well, let's say you're at like mile 13, you know, and you're just like, oh my gosh, I can't possibly do any more. Visualize yourself overcoming that struggle. That's where an emotional sort of anchor sets in for making a goal important. When not only do you visualize yourself doing it, but struggling through to make it happen. Then yes, visualize yourself running across that finish line. I visualize myself opening up that box of books when my publisher first sends me the first draft, finally, the manuscript finally published. When I open up that box and I get that first book and I'm like, this is real, you know? That's my moment, like, it's real. So I'll lay in bed visualizing that, not kidding. And I don't do it once, not twice, not three times. I've been doing that visualization technique for the last six months as I'm trying to finish my next book. 
So I'm not just talking about this conceptual. I do this in my own life, and I encourage you to do that. If you keep having goals that fall off onto the wayside or fall on the back burner, it's because you're not revisiting them. You need to revisit it, visualize it, see it, right? Really make it a visual thing. Tell the story, see it in your mind. The second big idea in order to help you even do that better is you need to have a weekly revisit, what I call weekly scoring, okay? Every week on a Sunday, I think about all the goals of the week I just had and all the goals of the week I have coming up and I literally measure myself. I'm like, hey, how did I do? On a scale of one to 10 last week, how did I do? Eight, I did good. Six, I'm not so good. Four, I sucked, <laughs> okay? And I rate myself every single Sunday. I think it's really important that you take a look at your goals on a weekly basis and rate. How was your performance? How did you do? Not just did you accomplish all of them, because you know what, life comes up. Your kid gets sick, you get tired, some big emergency happens in the business. Something will always come up that will prevent us from achieving every goal that we have every single week. But it's a good idea to say, where did I mess up? Where did I quit? Where did I stop? Not to berate yourself or be hard on yourself, just to acknowledge where you're at. Because if you're not looking at your goals on a weekly basis at least, I mean, what are the odds you'll keep working towards them? Just because they're a to-do list in your calendar doesn't mean you're gonna keep going after them. That's why I like to put those things together. Visualize in the morning and at the end of every single week, look at how you're doing in the goals. Third big idea to stop making sure those goals just fall away is simple. Get social support. Whatever your goal or dream is, my friend, you need other people to know about that dream. They should know what you're trying to accomplish, why you're trying to accomplish, how you're trying to accomplish it, when you're trying to accomplish it, and exactly what you are willing to do to accomplish it. And they should know their role in it. If you got a big dream and your spouse doesn't know those things I just talked about, what you're trying to do, how you're trying to do it, when, why, all those things, if they don't know that, you're not even in the game of goals yet. There, you just have all these internal goals, which look, it, a goal unspoken is really a hope. So you gotta be saying, okay, I need to speak this, I need to share it with people, and I need to get some comrades, some people with me who are gonna be my champions or be along with me. If you're trying to lose weight, you gotta have a workout buddy. You know, if you're trying to finish your book, you gotta have an editor or a writing buddy. If you're trying to uh, get that promotion at work, you need to have a mentor or another peer who's also going for that promotion who you can talk with and strive with. You've got to socialize both your learning and the sharing of your goals. Because if those two things aren't happening, you don't have somebody to learn with and strive with, and no one knows what your specific goals are, then the odds of you sticking and staying on track are very low. Because you'll find something else to do. You'll tell yourself, ah, oh, well, I have I got other priorities. And you'll let your goals go by the side. But the nice thing is about your friends, your family, people who really care about you, they want to see your goals attained. They want to see you live your dreams. And, and they're going to bug you. They're going to say, how's that book going, Brendan? I'm going to go, don't ask. How, but come on, are you doing good? OK. And I'll tell them, like, you want that. You want people bugging you and giving you crap and cheering you on as you're chasing after your goals. And that only happens if you share those goals with others. I hope these three simple ideas serve you. Look, you deserve to have an extraordinary quality of life. I know you know that. We all want that. It's impossible without goals. And it's really, definitely impossible forever if you don't start keeping those goals on the front burner. And the way to do that is to visualize, to assess yourself, and get other people involved. That's how you're gonna achieve more goals, and that's how you're gonna live the charge life. Hey, my friend, it's Brendan. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Do me two favors. Number one, subscribe to this channel so that you continue to get updates every time I release new training for you. And number two, if you would like to get ahead a little faster in life, what I'd like to do is give you my 10 steps to achieving anything 10 times faster. So if you have a, a big goal, a big dream, a big mission in life, and you just like to achieve it faster, what would you need to do? You know, this is exactly what I keep next to my computer or next to my bed, and every, every time I have a, a big dream, a big goal, I open it up and I kind of use this as my checklist to get ahead faster. 
Because you and I both know if, if you're gonna be more effective or more productive or you are gonna achieve your goals and your dreams faster, you're gonna have to switch your perspective a little bit on achievement itself. You're gonna have to adopt new thinking patterns and habits. You're gonna have to have new daily rituals and habits. And your entire approach to learning and skill development must be better. So in order to help you do that, just go ahead and click the link in this post or go to brendan.com forward slash 10x. That's brendan, B-R-E-N-D-O-N dot com forward slash 10x. And you can download this guide for free. Just tell me your name and email. I'm happy to email that to you for free. The same guide I use to achieve any goal or dream faster. Thanks for tuning in. Until I see you next time, go out there every single day of your life. Live fully, love openly, and make your difference today.